You welcome back to the program. Let's bring you some more stories. And UAE Korea Emirates has resumed flights from Accra after December 27 suspension due to change in COVID protocols in the kingdom effective January 13 today. Now, passengers traveling from Ghana and four other African countries will be required to provide a 48-hour PCR test before flights and passengers are also expected six hours before the embark on their flights to take another test and present a negative result. Uh, let's bring you details of how they are imposing or they are uh, going about these new procedures that have been listed. So flight resuming uh, from Accra to the UAE and travelers are required uh, to have a 48 hour PCR and rapid PCR test six hours before departure and on arrival in Dubai. That, however, is somewhat different from the statement from uh, the Ministry of Foreign Affairs indicating that the time duration for Ghana's test results should be within 24 hours before the scheduled departure. We'll see how that goes. Again, transiting passengers are only required to follow final destination rules, i.e. Uh, no 48-hour PCR or no 6-hour PCR unless mandated by the final destination. So these are some of the requirements from Emirates Airlines if you're traveling from Accra to Dubai as well as some uh, four other African countries to the United Arab Emirates using uh, the Emirates Airlines. Uh, let's bring you some, some more of them and um, the Ministry of Foreign Affairs also uh, in their the statement. Well, this is from uh, the, the United Arab Emirates, the, the airlines, it is saying that it is only going to recognize these testing institutions or results from these testing institutions. The first one leading uh, Frontiers Airport Clinic, Akai House and MDS Lancet. So if you have the intention to travel to the United Arab Emirates using uh, the Emirates Airlines, these are the institutions that the airline is going to accept results from without them your negative test results will not be accepted. We'll keep an eye on the development to bring you up to speed in our subsequent bulletins. 